Uh, the first question that we have here, Mac, I'm going to go to you first on this one. Uh, I'm sorry, Chris Mack, not Matt McCall, Chris <laughs> Mack. I mean, maybe I need to enunciate a little bit better. Your thoughts on the beef between Rick Pitino and Dan Hurley, and is this a good thing for the Big East if those two guys have a, uh, let's call it a healthy dislike for each other? <laughs> they're two competitors. I mean, they're, they're, they're two absolute competitors. As we know, Danny can be very brash, very, very cocky and, and very wild on the sidelines. But, you know, the thing about Danny is he backs it up, you know, and I think that obviously Coach Tino has a, uh, a story tradition of his own. He's got a couple national championships under his belt. Uh, you know, he, he's not going to play little brother to anybody. And so um, he's going to stick his chest out as well. And, you know, he's in year one. Where, where, where Danny's been there for a bit and obviously he's established his program, won the national championship last year. I think it's great for the Big East. I think it's going to put more eyes on uh, not only their game, but just the following of that league. Uh, to me right now, it's the best league in basketball and has been for the last uh, couple of years. So I think anytime you have guys like Rick Pitino, Danny Hurley, Shaka Smart, Sean Miller, uh, you know, it's a it's a great coaches league right now and uh, those two certainly add to the prestige of it yeah mccall your thoughts have you ever had a uh, press conference beef with any other coaches in a conference with you i i never had a press conference beef but i think this is great for college basketball i really do and you know when we were talking about the florida kentucky kentucky rivalry earlier you know, you go back to even when Patino was at Louisville and that was a rivalry and Patino and coach Calipari always had some comments or something else to say. And I don't, I think there was always respect, but it was also entertainment and people tuned in and they were excited about it. And now here you, you, you knew when coach Patino joined the big East, when he took the St. John's job, and Coach Hurley is at UConn. They're coming off a national championship. Yeah, there's there's gonna be some. All right, let's go. Let's 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 see who's who's the man. Let's see whose team is better. Let's see who, you know, who rises to the top. And I think it's I think it's entertaining, and I think it's it's good for college basketball. I don't see anything negative about it. They're both backing up their programs. They're both backing up their identity as head coaches and their teams and. I think it's fun and people are talking about it. We're talking about it. So that means, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's entertaining and, you know, when they line up and play again and I don't see how that game's going to be played in Karnasek arena. I know you guys talked about that the other night. I mean, I think there's going to be too many fans that want to tune into that game and, you know, in the garden. I th oh man, that's, it'll be electric, but I, I don't think there's anything negative about it. I think it's, it's entertainment and you got two, you know, you got a Hall of Fame coach, a future Hall of Fame coach that are both supporting their programs and competing at a high, high level and two of the best in the game right now. I think it's I think it's good. Uh, yeah, I, I love when uh, coaches feel the need to get on the Internet and take shots at each other. Uh, one of my favorite moments in, in covering college basketball when there was a, a coach on one side of a, a passionate rivalry that in his office one day was frustrated because he couldn't get a home game against his rival and set up his phone on the, I guess it was leaning up against his computer. It was a rivalry. Like a great, it was a rivalry. It was a great and wrestling he was doing job. It was great. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a great wrestling we need all video. Of it. Mac, uh, Chris, do you oh. remember that at all? Do you know what I'm talking about? Does that ring any bells? Hell yeah, I remember that. You know what I mean? <laughs> he wants to play that behind the scenes, you know, and try to uh, – change our game time and all that bullshit. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to sit there and take it. And so I tried to figure out a creative way to, you know, sort of combat the issue. So, and we won that game. You should have seen the mentions I had after I made the video, wait until the game's played. But we won that game. So take that. And, and it was a rivalry yeah. and it was entertaining. Coach, and people hey. listened and they paid attention to it. Steve Coach, Spurrier, Coach University Prosser. of Florida. Back in the day, yep. you used to say you can't spell UT with, or you can't spell the Citrus Bowl without UT, right? Coach Spur used to always <laughs> say that, get fans fired up for the Florida, Tennessee, right? Come on. It's good for the sport. Let's go. Yeah. Coach Prosser always used to talk about a healthy hatred's never bad. You know, <laughs> no so question. I think there's a little bit of a healthy hatred between 
Coach Patino, Coach Hurley right now. Let, well, let's go, man. It's two two guys that are wired the same way that want to beat the hell out of each other is not a bad thing for the sport.